My name is Liz, and I'm a Walgreens pharmacist. I see you have a few dry powder inhalers here. Would you like me to show you how to use them? That would be great, especially since she has never used one before. I think we're both a little nervous. It's pretty simple. You'll both be pros at it in no time. Are you ready? I sure am. Like other inhalers, dry powder inhalers, also called DPIs, help you breathe easier by getting medicine deep into your lungs. But unlike other respiratory inhalers, DPIs release a dose of medicine when you breathe in. You don't have to worry about pushing down on the inhaler to release a puff of medicine and breathing in at the same time. There are a lot of different types of brands of DPIs, and these devices are used for both adults and kids. Before following these instructions, make sure to read the label on your inhaler to find out what type of device you have. Today we'll focus on three, Discus, Ellipta, and Redihaler. They each work slightly differently. I'll show you how to use the Discus DPI first. Can you help out? Yes. Great. Let's start by holding the discus with the left hand and placing the thumb of the right hand on the thumb grip. Push the thumb grip away from you as far as it'll go until the mouthpiece shows and snaps into place. Hold the discus in a level, flat position with the mouthpiece towards you. Then slide the lever as far as it'll go away from the mouthpiece until you hear a click. Next, exhale completely through your mouth with your head pointing away from the discus, and make sure not to tilt or shake the device. Now, place the mouthpiece between your lips and seal your lips tightly around it. Then, hold the discus horizontally and breathe in through your mouth rapidly, steadily, and deeply. Don't breathe in through your nose. Take the discus out of your mouth and hold your breath for about 10 seconds, or as long as it's comfortable for you to hold it. This allows the medicine to really get into your lungs. Then exhale slowly. Again, pointing your face away from the discus. Then you'll want to close the discus by sliding your thumb grip back towards you as far as it will go to make sure that it clicks shut. You should not be able to see the mouthpiece at this point. Don't worry if you don't taste or feel the medicine. That's normal. No need to take another dose. If your discus contains a steroid, you'll want to rinse your mouth with water after each use. Just remember to spit the water out and don't swallow it. So when should you replace your discus? It's smart to write the date you opened the discus and its use by date on the label to help you remember when to replace it. Also, be sure to check the dose counter each time you use the discus for the number of doses remaining, which will tell you when you're low. Now for the Ellipta DPI. To use the Ellipta, first slide the cover down until you hear a click. The counter will count down by one showing you that your Ellipta is now ready to use. To avoid wasting doses, keep the Ellipta cover closed until you're ready to use it. And don't close the cover until you have inhaled all the medicine. Next, exhale completely through your mouth, pointing away from the Ellipta. Place the mouthpiece between your lips and close your lips firmly around the curved shape of the mouthpiece. Make sure not to block the air vents with your fingers. Then inhale a long, steady, deep breath through your mouth. Don't breathe in through your nose. Take the Ellipta out of your mouth and hold your breath for three to four seconds to make sure that the medicine gets deep into your lungs. Next, exhale slowly and gently with your face pointing away from the Ellipta. Then slide the cover up and over the mouthpiece. And like I already mentioned, if your Ellipta contains a steroid, be sure to rinse your mouth with water after each dose. Just don't swallow the water. Replace your Ellipta as needed. Remember to write the tray opened 
and discarded by date on the ellipta's label when you first open it, in accordance with package instructions. Also, be sure to check the dose counter for the number of doses remaining, which will tell you when you're running low. If you have a ready Haler DPI, be sure to hold it in the upright position. Another important difference is that you pull the cap down to open the ready haler, like this. Other than that, you can follow the same steps that I outlined for the ellipta. Easy enough, right? That was easy. Thanks for your help. Of course. Please, call your doctor or your Walgreens pharmacist if you have any questions.